Shalom, Yashallah. I'm going to start by saying all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and rule will well. Salutation to the Akiam that's in highways and byways doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shamashiach? Shalom, shalom to this lesson. Right? It's like, it's like uh, Esau Edom is divided. The European Union is coming, are coming against Babylon, aka America. Right? Okay, there's, there's seem the Lord is still up those people against Babylon. There's a split in the water. Right? Among those people, there's a split. It's starting to have a split. It's supposed to, they have crack in the eggshell that they are in. Right? It's what, because I was watching that video and, and it's getting started that the European, the European Union uh gonna gonna separate themselves from, from Babylon. From all the unwashed and watch is dealing of Babylon doing, right? Let's watch the video. The videos from GMS Watchmen. World War Three British pundit blamed U.S. President for North Stream pipeline explosion. Let's watch. Huge hurricane is the Nord Stream pipeline and uh, the threat of tactical nuclears in Ukraine, both inextricably linked. There's no obvious suspect for the pipeline. So you ask yourself, who benefits? Certainly not Russia or the European Union. There are two others who do benefit climate control uh, people because this has released methane which is far the biggest cause of, of climate change than carbon which is merely a hoax and Biden admitted that the other day and yesterday his spokesman talked about the green industry taking off because of this. So uh, you're saying, just uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, uh, always a, a limited amount of time but you seem to be... See? Even uh, the British bandits are blaming uh, Babylon, are blaming, uh, are blaming the king of Babylon, aka Biden, right? As you can see, right? Let's go to uh, 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 Jeremiah the 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be so confounded, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the handmost of the nation shall be a wilderness. A dry land and a desert, right? Because of the wife of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that go by Babylon shall be astonished and his are all her plagues, right? Those people are ashamed of Babylon, aka America, right? The British, that's where America came from, right? They birthed America, the, the British, right? The Great Britain, right? And now they're turning against America. Because the shame of the right, and they, they are confounded. They don't know how America is acting like that, right? And they were supposed to be friends, and that's not the way they would you think friends would act, right? Let's take it. Saying this came from President Biden, and you think there's a reason he's doing this? I think that it benefits uh, President Biden. The Marxist administration here sees a massive defeat in November. So they have to create an emergency large enough to allow Biden to cancel the midterm elections. And here they are, a climate emergency and a Russian emergency of using nucleus for the first time in 77 years that they've ever been used and spin it into such a massive emergency that he comes on as a president and says, I'm putting off or canceling the midterm elections. OK, now, just that's your theory. And I want to make clear it's not a Marxist party. It is a Democratic party that a lot of people feel uh, uh, leans way too left. Uh, and there's no evidence that that, that, that is in Indeed, what they're trying to do, but uh, we appreciate you, John, expressing that theory um, uh, as far as who may, if anybody did, who may have uh, disrupted those pipelines, which we know both one and two, Nord Stream one and two, uh, are leaking now. 
as you can see right what you're seeing right now is ESO leaking it's ESO uh, let's see let's go to Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9 behold the former things have come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them okay Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua I tell us of those things right come right and that's exactly the time that we end and those things are speaking you see the, the, uh, the ten horn right they're coming against Babylon and they say uh, Babylon is doing that that that, uh, that blow up the, the pipeline you see to create confusion, to create a uh, obstacle for Europe and Russia, right? And let's get the scriptures real quick, right? Now, uh, what you're seeing right now, you're seeing a kingdom that's divided. Esau is divided against Esau, right? Matthew 12, verse 25. And Yahweh shall know their thoughts and say unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. You see, when the pandits come to a, a major news network and see those kind of things, and that's uh, it does have to be everybody that think that way, but we best believe a vast majority of, of the people in Britain believe so, and that's the crack that's in the ceiling right now. And that's the crack and the shell. That's eggshell right now, right? Because uh, when it comes to politics, especially, everything is on eggshell throughout the earth right now. See? And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. See? The kingdom of Israel cannot stand because they're divided and they're about to enter into a fight. Right? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against itself. I shall then his kingdom stand. You see, the adversary kingdom, Satan, in a way, mean adversary, right? And this adversary of the of the of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahusha, and the adversary of Yahshua are Esau, are mainly Esau, Edom, and all the other nations. But Esau is in the crossfire right now. They're divided amongst themselves and that those kind of kingdom cannot stand no way but or not or you see and they're not gonna stand yash Allah right let's go to mark 3 mark 3 chapter 3, mark chapter 3 verse 23 and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables I can sit and cast out Satan right and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Esau, for a very long time, have been united uh, with the common goal. But now the common goal is not so common anymore. Because both, it's like both brothers, right? They're doing uh, a, a filthy things against one another especially Babylon right Babylon is acting like it got no friends and those friends in the other side in the other uh, in the other side of the of the earth thinking Babylon is their friend and now they're figuring out the other brother they have you see the daughter that, that they have in the other side is not truly their daughter it's not acting like a daughter so they are, they got to go up there and inspect them real quick, right? And what that's coming is war. Verse twenty six, and he sit and rise against himself, and he be divided; he cannot stand or have an end. You see, that's the end. The adversary Esau Edom is at an end right now, and they are divided because they're rising against each other right now. It's in America, it's not acting like a daughter. The other son of Esau on the other side, see, the uh, that other son 
it's not acting like a brother and there's gonna be a fight no man can enter into a storming house and spoil his good it said he will first be strong bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house the, the, the most high gonna spoil Esau's house Esau gonna be fighting against among another and then to look into the house and spoil it that's exactly what, what the time that we are in Yasha Allah all right and the Lord is doing those things right let's go to uh, Isaiah 13 Isaiah 13 verse 17 Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in them. Right? See the pipeline that uh, that they uh that they explode, that, that Babylon explode, belong to Russia and that go into Europe. See? That's the service the service those pipeline, right? And then that the Lord is doing is putting in the mind of the Babylonians to do those kind of things right so that the means so they can stir up the means against them that's exactly what's going on right now see they bow so that's the young men into pieces and they shall not have no pity in the fruits of the womb their eyes shall not spare children see in Babylon the glory of, of, of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldeans excellency shall be as when God over to Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what's coming for Babylon. See, Babylon the Great. That's what's coming for them, right? The Russians, is it the, uh, with the land of the Medes were, right? That's where the Russia is, right? And the Lord gonna rise, uh, gonna rise, uh, gonna stir up the Medes against them, against Babylon. Right? Let's go to Ezekiel, right? To get well, exactly what we're talking about. Ezekiel 38 verse 1 in the word of Yahweh come unto me saying son of man set thy face against Gog the land of Magog the chief prince of Meshach and to bow and prophesy against it see we prophesy against it and say thus said Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha behold I'm against thee O Gog the chief prince of Meshach and to bow and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy drawers right see the USSR, okay, Russia, was laying dormant. They didn't want no beef with Babylon, but now Babylon is doing some funny things, and now the Lord is stirring up the men, the, 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 the meds, okay, make our gog and make our, right, up, right, to the point of a hook and turn them back. It's like you have, a, you have a horse, and you put the hook on that horse mouth so you can guard him whatsoever you want to. And that's exactly what the Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is doing. Uh, to Russia and Babylon, right? They, you want them to fight. And I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horse and horsemen, all them clothed with all of armor, even a good company with buckles and shields, all of them handling sword. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. See, they're going to be uh, a League of Nations. We're gonna fight against Esau Edom, against Esau Edom, right? Against Babylon, not right? because uh Gog and Magog uh is they are Edomite too. And all the European unions are mostly Edomites too. And they're gonna they're gonna fight against Babylon. That's exactly what the time we had. And that's the will of Yahweh why Yahweh Shamashia, just like we read. Thus said Yahweh power by Shem Yahushai, right? Let's get the last scripture real quick, you know. Let's start at five. And upon her forehead was a name waiting, mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. You see? That's the, that, that's the there is the Babylon the Great. That's who they, they're blaming. Or blowing the North Stream pipeline that's go from Russia to uh to Europe that would that give them gas fuel right and Europe is suffering from a lack of fuel 
lack of gas, natural gases. And then with the explosion of the pipeline, they blame America for it. Let's go to uh, 16. Revelation 17, verse 16. And to turn on which those sides upon the beast. You see? They shall hit the wall and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. When all those funny things that a Babylon is doing, right? Now, the ten horn, see, that's the size that's up on the beast, she's gonna hit that wall, which is Babylon. Right, like you heard in verse five, right? See, and upon the forehead was a name waiting mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abomination and of the earth see that woman that's the war right there and it's the Babylon the great aka America aka spiritually Egypt right the mother of harlots and abomination see Babylon I've been, I've been doing I've been dealing unrighteously with their own and that's why they're gonna hit that wall. Right? See, they're gonna make her desolate. They're gonna go to war against Babylon. The, the European Union gonna go a, a, a war with Babylon, with Russia, and shall hit her flesh and burn with fire. For God have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. The beast is the whole European Union until the word of God shall be fulfilled. You see? And that's exactly the time that we are in right now. And the woman which does so is that great city which ran over the king of the earth. That is to fulfill the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. See, those things have to happen for the will of the Most High to be fulfilled. And that's our Babylon, the great, see, the great city which went over the king of the earth. That's how they're going to be desolate, they're going to be destroyed. Right? And why is that? Because though they think they were friends, they, are, they were eating Babylon's bread. But they're gonna they're gonna go against Babylon, like he said with we die, all right? We die chapter one verse six. I had things of Esau shall shout. Ah, uh, ah, uh, he's hiding his things set up. I do think of Israel shall shout. By the prophecy of Yahweh, why Yahweh shall Mashiach. All the men of that confederacy, let's look at the word confederacy, right? Let's look at the word confederacy, right? Covenant, alliance, pledge between men, treaty, alliance, right? Constitution, ordinance, monarch to subject, agreement, pledge. See, America have an alliance of friendship, right? Alliance of marriage, you see? They got they got they have an alliance uh with uh with the, with the ten horns, right? With the European Union. See, even to the border, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevail against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding on him. Okay? All those nations, even they, they, they're the same nation as, as Babylon, right? The same people. But even though they were eating their bread, they're going to be against him. They, they, they're putting a wound on the Babylon. They were using Babylon. And now they got no use for Babylon. And now Babylon is starting to see it. But Babylon is, trying, is acting funny. It's making, uh, because they got no understanding on them, they're making funny business out here. And act like those nations are gonna see it, but this nation was only setting, setting you up, Babylon. 
because they have deceived Babylon. They tell Babylon they were their friends. That they were friends, but they were not. There's no friends among teeth. They that eat that bread, you see. Babylon was is 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 the uh is the money cow of the for the European Union. I've laid a wound under thee, and there's none understand. Shall and on that day said Yahweh even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understand out of the mount of Esau? It's the Lord that destroying the wise men out of Edom. They, 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 don't, they don't know what's going on. They think they're doing all those things out of their own will. Out of their own understanding. Push the Lord stick out their understanding of the mount of Esau. See, the top of Esau got no understanding. Starting from the little man to the, to the elite of Esau, Edom, they got no understanding right now. Because they don't know what's going on right now. But except for the men of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shama Shah that know exactly which the Lord's will for all those things to come to pass. Right? Because Esau is fighting a losing battle. Because war is an horizon. Esau is divided. And his kingdom is falling. And with that, I hope your brothers and sisters was edified. I'm gonna give all praise, all glory, all honor. All blessing belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and rule will well. Salutation to the Archeam that's in highways and byways doing this work and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the hopeful elect, sons and daughters that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shamashiach. Shalom, shalom, abba, abba, kwam yashwala.